I told you, Toad, if we do this one deal, we're back for good. We'll never have to worry about money again. We're not even gonna mention the fact that you've clearly switched sides now. It doesn't even make sense when you think about it. But except for the mustache, it's a pretty good dead giveaway. No. Well, that and they don't know about the blackmail. But I know what you did. I know about all the people you bumped, so you better do what I say. Or I'm gonna get Wario's garlic out of the fridge and make you eat it. So let's go over the plan. Step one, we procure some tacos. Step two, we get a stand. Step three is just us selling the tacos. Tacos! So what do you think? We're gonna be so rich. Hamster. Hey, you guys remember what? Waluigi, right? How he's not in Smash? Oh wait, what? I forgot. I oh, wasn't supposed to bring that up. A couple years ago, now I talked about Waluigi and a lot of his fan games that are out there. Maybe you remember. Weirdly enough, some of them are actually pretty good. You got games like Psycho Waluigi. That's pretty much it. Waluigi's always been sort of shafted when it comes to video games. Sure, he gets some representation here and there, most recently in games like Mario Tennis, which is ironically where he made his original debut. But still, to this day, he's never had a game of his own! It's just not fair. He tries so hard. He tries so hard to be evil for you, Nintendo. And then he doesn't even get his own game. What does he have to do? He's not, he's not in Smash? There I go. I said I wouldn't talk about it. There must be some deep hatred building inside of him. He has to watch his evil friend, confirmed not brother, rise to the top with a slew of successful games. A slew of semi-successful games. But there is a chance. For out there, there may actually be a real Waluigi game. It exists in a physical copy in real form. The rarest of the rarest of games. Waluigi's Taco Stand. We gotta get our hands on it! Oh man, Waluigi blew all his money at the slots again. Of course he did, makes sense. To make things worse, it's rent time. It always is. Luckily, Mr. Rent has offered Waluigi a job as a taco vendor. Ho <laughs> ho, now we're talking. Take control of Waluigi and slash bash and push your way through the competition. Well, I don't want to spoil the entire game for myself. <laughs> Once you've made the sale, stop selling. All right, let's track down a copy of the game. All right, let's just go to eBay and see what we can find. Waluigi's taco stand, perfect. $56? 525 complete in box, what? So, what are we gonna do? I spent all my money on those tacos. <laughs> They're just so good. Why is this game so expensive? I don't get it. It's me, the, the Toad Genie from Mario Party. I was here the whole time to talk those free my powers. What was in those tacos? So I guess uh, since you helped me and everything, here's a copy of the game. Nice. All right, so we're in it. We're finally playing Waluigi's Taco Stand. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go to Wa A. Oh look, Waluigi's at the casino. Wonder what he's up to this time. Uh, well, I mean, he's probably gambling, you know. It appears that he's angry at the slots. I'm ruined. That's not good. Hey, Waluigi, your rent is due. You can't pay up after you've lost all of yours and Wario's money at the casino. You have to work it off. I've got a job for you. Why don't you work at my taco stand? Oh, man. Now that's world building right there. All right, we're off. I can't believe it. We're actually playing Waluigi's taco stand. I'm just going to take a little look around the room. See what's going on here. Oh, oh, yep, of course, a picture of the Mario Brothers. Uh, is that darts in their faces? Yep. Looks like we got a stockpile of bomb bombs over here. Is that matching color scheme bunk beds? Waluigi's a bottom, Wario's a top confirmed. Oh, uh oh, nice Waluigi, nice picture of Daisy under there. Okay, I think we're spending a little too much time looking around. Let's get to some taco making. Rank taco amateur, unacceptable. This is the taco stand. You'll be taking customers' orders. Try your best to satisfy them. If you put together all the right ingredients, the customers will be happy. Make all customers happy to get to the next level. Looks like we got our first ever customer. Hey, I'd like a big tasty taco. Only cheese and beef, please. 
Oh, right. I guess I have to make tacos now. Welcome to the taco fields, your new home! For all eternity. <laughs> Not really, though, actually. So Waluigi's taco stand is actually pretty simple. Look at the orders, go to the taco fields, and collect all the needed ingredients. Once you've collected everything, you bounce out of there and hope that the customer is happy with your hard work. Because if they aren't... No! No! I failed at making a taco! <laughs> Alright, so lettuce, tomato, and mushrooms. A healthy taco coming right up! Now, sometimes the ingredients are easy to get like these tomatoes here, but other times it's gonna be a little bit more involved. This guy wants a fish shock, are you kidding me? Now, now I gotta swim all the way out there. Come on, grab it. Come on, grab it. Get it. Come on, please. Yes, this goom here wants some meat and cheese on his taco. Classic, I'll just go grab some cheese and uh, wait, where do I get the beef? I've been walking around this place for a while and I still haven't found the beef. Ah, uh, don't tell me it has something to do with this chain shop. Do I have to, like, let him go or something? Uh, no, that's, that's not it. The only other thing around are these Goombas, but, I mean... Hey! Get out of here with that! No. If... If you kill the Gooms, you get... You get the meat! And that means... I'm feeding Goombas to Goombas! There's gotta be some sort of ethical code I'm breaking here. Toad, we're in too deep now! We can't get caught, you hear me? Well, I guess we're just gonna forget that ever happened because that's actually really disturbing and I know for a fact the best way to deal with this kind of stuff is to never acknowledge it again. Never again. Anyways, the rest of the game plays out exactly how you'd expect. Whenever you finish a line of customers' orders, you upgrade your taco rank and move on to another level. That's right, I said taco rank. You paying attention? This is important stuff. Once you do get to another level, you have to figure out where all the ingredients are all over again. Hello, please don't judge me for this, but I'd like a taco full of garlic. Only garlic? What kind of monkey are you? Who ever heard of a garlic only taco? I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist because that's not a thing. There's four different levels in total. You go to the taco fields, a beach, a mountainous area, and finally, the lava pl place. AKA Taco Volcano. For some reason, you can ride around on Dory even though it's in lava. And Dory's definitely got a case of the pet zoomies. I mean, just look at this. It's actually really hard to control, so it's better to just jump into the lava and burn Waluigi's butt off to get the ingredients that you need. Cause you don't die anyway. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I'm a taco professor now! That's pretty good, I think! Oh, hey, you're back! And now that I'm a taco professor, I can be entrusted to fully explore the taco volcano and become... THE TACO KING! Here we go! Alright, now that I'm the taco king... Uh... Oh, wait... Mr. Ren? That's enough to pay the rent? Wait, 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 wait! Waluigi win! Yeah! What the heck, that's it?! I thought this was supposed to be a full-fledged game! It lasted about 20 minutes! Wait a second, let me take a look at this. Oh my god. Ah! It's a fake! Wait, so you're saying this isn't- this isn't a real game? I got tricked into making another fan game video? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, maybe it should have been obvious. There was a PlayStation logo on the front. And when I turned it around, it had this Pace restaurant style salsa bottle attached to it. I mean, I don't want to mansplain here, but that's usually a dead giveaway when it comes to fake games. If it was any other flavor, though, I probably wouldn't have noticed. So I guess that means we should review some other Waluigi games as well. Oh, yeah, Waluigi. Never mind, I take it back. Waluigi time. Waluigi's Basics in Wa and Wonders is a mod of Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. It changes the characters and aesthetics up to match Waluigi's style. If you've never played Baldi's before, it's actually pretty simple, but really difficult. You run around and try and find these notebooks throughout the school while avoiding the various other NPCs as much as possible. Okay. All right, I think I'm home free now. Let's go, baby. Last number. I got no! no, geez. Oh my God, what is happening? You can find some helpful items, but mainly you're going to be avoiding Waluigi as he tracks you throughout the school. You solve math problems every time you get to a notebook, but Waluigi gets faster every time you fail at a problem. It's impossible to get the last answer correct, though, because he always jumbles up the last question anyway. And then... Yeah. 
He can always hear you whenever you open a door. He knows. Just look at those huge, those humongous, those elephantine ears. Of course he can hear you. He can probably hear all the way out to the, th the thermosphere of the atmosphere of the earth. No, 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 Daisy. No, 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 you son of a... All right, this is the one I can feel it. Oh, no. 30 seconds of detention. Um, I'm dead, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, we're on the last notebook right now. I almost have all of them and I can get out of here. Okay, oh, yeah. we just gotta be sneaky now. We just gotta make our move. We just gotta get out of here. Please. What the heck? Oh my, no! Oh, oh, am I okay? What is that noise? Okay. Oh, oh my God, the exit closes, the exit closes. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We got a little bit of a head start on. Let's just get around this corner and get that out of here. Oh my, what? What? No! 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 It's rigged! It's rigged like a beer pan act to fly around our middle school play! And speaking of rigged, this next one is definitely that. I can't even believe this. This one's called Super Wah. It's a small little minigame-esque platformer starring Waluigi. The goal is to get to the end of the level, but that's harder than it looks. Okay, I see how it is. It's actually not even that long, it takes only a few minutes to complete, and it's mostly trial and error figuring out where all the BS is. Once you figure all that out, you can pretty handily get to the end. You win! 2018 is the year of Waluigi, baby! This next one's called Super Waluigi 3! It's actually one of the more fleshed out games on here. It's a platformer starring Waluigi, but you're not playing as him exactly. Instead, you control this mech where you punch the crap out of birds. I mean, you do punch some other things too, but let's be honest, it's mostly just the birds. Also, since when did birds drop money in my senile? Have they always just been hiding their riches? Do they have a cave somewhere where they store their cursed golden doubloons? The goal of the game is to get to the end of the levels and collect as much money as possible. One of the cool things about the game is that you can adjust the mech's height to deal with different types of situations. It's a bit clunky though, and the height of the mech gets reset whenever you jump anyway. Besides the birds, you'll be fighting rats. P P police Helicopters. Not really making any friends here, are you, Waluigi? This is starting to get a little bit beyond misdemeanors now. Is that King Kong? I mean, of course, King Kong. He always shows up in my favorite classic Nintendo games, like that one, the, the one with the different countries. Oh, okay. There's just a gargantuan toxic waste rat down here. We're, we're not going to talk about this. This is actually the final boss of the demo though. All in all, it's not a bad game, just a short demo of what could be. Next up, we have a few different ROM hacks that might be worth checking out. The first one is called Mario and Waluigi in search of Luigi. Well, I mean, this just seems out of character. I thought Waluigi and Wario were good friends. They share bunk beds for God's sake. That's sacred. This game lets you choose between playing as Mario or Waluigi. So of course we gotta play as the W. Welcome to Bi- Bioma Land? Wario has kidnapped Luigi and has taken him to his base! Go save him with the help of Waluigi or time will run out! What, time? I'm being timed? I hate being timed. So as this is a ROM hack of Super Mario World, I think you kinda know the drill. There's basic mushroom, flower, and cape power-ups, and the controls and enemies are identical to what you'd see from the game. The hack itself is actually pretty good, though it does seem to suffer from that Mario Maker syndrome of making levels much more difficult than they have to be or probably should be a little too fast. Though I can tell there's a lot of effort here to make legitimate levels and not just something that would be insanely hard. The next ROM hack is called Waluigi's Quest to Become Known. Oh, that's kind of sad. As it's a ROM hack of the same game, it's going to look pretty similar. Well, except for the lobster men! They got stiffy hand claws, watch out! Sorry, everyone but me has their own game. What about me? No, it's too meta, I don't think people will like it. No, you know what, I'm sick of it. If Adventure is too afraid to come to me, then I'll go to it. There's the spirit man. Then Waluigi gets shot into the black void of the upside down. <laughs> At least this game has some custom art assets. Obviously, the Waluigi model is universally used in a lot of these hacks, and it looks good. But dang, look at those lobster bros. Uh, what the heck are these things? Why does he look like a ghost variation of the Viridian Force Metapods? These guys ask you for help in reclaiming the kingdom from the lobstermen. Okay, what more do you want? Go out there and kill those lobstermen. 
I mean, you don't need to look into it or anything. You just gotta go out there and do what they say to do. Just murder a bunch of those guys and stuff. Take over their castles. Last but not least, we have Waluigi's Wadventure. Probably the best game on this list. Uh, collection, whatever. This one's actually really good. It's not completely done yet, but what's here is super promising. It has really well designed and vibrant levels, new mechanics implemented into the core gameplay, and nothing is overly challenging super quickly, so it does a decent job at easing you into the game. Some of the new mechanics are actually really sweet, too. You can wall jump all la Mario 64, pushing for some more verticality to the gameplay. There's also this new platform type that you can go through by solely pressing down. And if you get a Fire Flower power up, it's like Luigi's in Smash Brothers instead of bouncing like Mario's. And is that... Is that... It's a taco! We're coming full circle now! It's not terribly long and the difficulty does start to ramp up pretty quickly, but the amount of work that obviously went into this hack is pretty ridiculous. The music choices are great. The bosses are actually really fun and not overly hard. And I can tell that once this is actually done, it's gonna be a pretty lengthy adventure of good levels. So if you're looking for a good Waluigi game, you could do worse than trying some of these ROM hacks out. All right, Toad, that was really fun and all, but, but we gotta come up with some money right now. Her rent's overdue, and Mr. Rent's gonna be really mad at us. I got a few tacos left in my taco stash, but who are we gonna sell them to? <laughs> You're right. I know just who to sell them to. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the weirdest video I've ever done. Probably. If you enjoyed the video, though, be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more videos like these. And if you just can't wait for more videos, I got two more videos for you right there. As always, thank you guys so much for sending in art and or supporting me over on Patreon or watching my Twitch streams or whatever. Links for all those things in the description, by the way. I'm really tired now. I'm going to go to sleep. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning as I'm finishing this. Bye, see you in the next video.